I'd like to go over changing uh, burrs and collets right now in our 1070 micromotor. To change a burr, as you can see, this has got a 1 8 inch collet inside right now. What you do is you flip the handle here with the, the two little uh, wings to R for release. You can pull out the burr, the collet's released. To put a new one in, just put it in, bring it over to secure, and it's ready to go. It's tight and the spindle's free flowing, rotating. To remove again, just flip and out. The nice thing about this is if you get the one and you use 1 8 inch shank tools like many wood carvers do and some other uh, um, metal applications um, and you need a 332nd or 2.35 millimeter burr, you can use one of these. It's a collet adapter. It's basically a sleeve that you insert into your collet and it reduces the diameter so you can put smaller shank burrs in. It's much easier than changing out collets. It doesn't cause any excess run out. It's very inexpensive compared to the time and hassle of changing collets. And that one's ready to go too. Let me show you how to change a collet. That's, you're going to change a collet if you need to use a burr of a different size shank. Uh, say you're going from a 1 8 to a 3 32nd or um, to a 3 millimeter, 1 16th inch, whatever. Um, if you don't have a collet adapter, you're going to need to do this every time you want to change. What you'll do is you've got this hexagonal wrench and you take You'll take the hexagonal wrench, open the collet, but lock the spindle when you're doing that. Put the hexagonal wrench over the top of the handpiece and turn it. Once you loosen that, the whole top part of the handpiece comes off. Leave the spring where it is. You don't want to mess with that. Then what you'll do is you pop the hole inside out here like this. Always keep your burr in the collet. Very important so you won't crush the collet. Then what you do is you take this wrench and with it there's a cross piece hole in the bottom of the spindle and you put that wrench inside that. Then you take the wrench where you've got the triangular hole, you fit it over the collet like so and unscrew it. There's a little spring in here so it gets a little spring loaded once you get this loosened, you can undo it and the collet comes out. And this is your collet. Now to put your collet back in and change your another collet, you just simply put it in. Don't forget to put the burr shank in there. Tighten that up and then push down and tighten with your key. It's a little bit easier that way. Holding that in place, the triangular thing. And after a while you don't have to press in. Like I said, you have to press in because of that spring. It's tight. You can pull this out. Put it back into the nose cone. Pop this back in. Screw it back on. Give it one good nudge. With the hex wrench.
It's good to go. Test it out on your motor. And it's good to go. Now, if your motor overloaded and the overload light came on, that would mean your collet was improperly done. What you just want to do is start all over and make sure that the collet's tightened and that the burr is locked in the handpiece.